<clears throat> Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you are all having a good holiday. Happy Monday. Many of you will be back to work today. As I kind of am, I get to come and do this fun, fun thing here with my 10-minute Monday art tips, which I really enjoy. You guys show up and let me talk art, and I really, really appreciate that. Thank you for this opportunity. And today I want to do a quick rundown of um, the reasons why it's a good idea to learn to paint. Many of you are making New Year's resolutions at this time of year. I'm not a huge believer in New Year's resolutions. You know, um, it's never been my thing, but a lot of people really like it. And it's always a good time to learn a new skill. And painting is especially a great skill to have because it really expands the, your right side of your brain. Uh, a lot of people are very left-brained. The left brain controls your thinking, your rational side, your thinking uh, as far as logic is concerned. That's your math side. It's uh, where language comes from versus your right side is where music comes from, creativity, imagination, all those other types of skills that not everybody has exercised. So it's a good, good way to use both sides of your brain because when you're learning to paint, you actually have to use a lot of the theory side when you're thinking about mixing. The, the learning part of it comes from the left brain. So it's a full brain activity. And when you are learning, it's like learning to type. I was saying to my student yesterday, when you first, first pick up a paintbrush, there's so much going on in your mind that it can be a little overwhelming at times. And you have to, when you're first learning to type, you have to memorize where all the, the, the letters are. And you have to remember which finger to use on which, which key. So there's a lot going on. And as you practice, you all of a sudden aren't thinking about where the A is and where the N is and which finger it goes where. It just becomes ingrained in you and it becomes natural. And when you learn to paint, that is how it is with art as well. You suddenly, after practicing for a long time, you wind up in a beautiful place and you come into the zone and you get to really experience what it's like to just be in the moment and channel I, I use the word channel, but it's not really the appropriate word, but you get to go into that space where time disappears and it's uh, a bit idyllic and it's a loving, lovely place to be. And I get to spend a lot of my career in that place. There's the frustrating side of painting as well when you can't reach that kind of other altered universe. But when it happens, it's great, that creativity, that imagination, when the spark is alive and you're really in the groove, there is no comparison to that. So I encourage you to learn to paint. It is just so rewarding, you will not regret it. Not everybody can be in the flow. And as an artist, you have that opportunity that comes your way. So uh, do stick with it and learn to, and this amazing, amazing process. Uh, what do I want to say about that? What else do I want to say about that? Uh, another thing, when you're working in your right brain, another really cool thing that can happen is you can zone out, be in the, that creative space, and then at the end of it, you can step away from your canvas and you wonder who on earth painted that because it's so shockingly good. And you think about one stroke at a time and you're laying it on, laying it on, putting it there, putting it there. And you, it just comes. It flows through your hand, through the brush and onto that canvas. And you don't know where it appears from. But once you get to that place, there's no, nothing like it. You wonder who on earth could have done such a great thing. And you will shock yourself, I promise you. If you stick with it, you practice, you will get there. So please, just... Don't give up when you have those rough patches because there are rough patches of getting there. Like I say, it is not an easy thing to learn to paint. You get those rules under your belt, the composition, the line, the shape, 
the color. And uh, yeah, you it, there's no going back once you get into that. So painting changed my life. And I know that's a big statement to say. And I don't know of any artist that has ever regretted becoming an artist and learning to paint because it's just such a freeing thing. So don't, don't give up, keep painting, keep learning. And there is a wealth of information out there, not just from myself and my lectures, and my art lessons, but there are so many great books and I'm going to be writing about that soon. Um, giving a whole spiel on some really good books that you can read up on. And I'm also going to do a post soon about some really great movies, art movies, which features some very talented artists. I don't, oh, I've just about got into that right now because I get excited about talking art. Uh, but I'll save that for another post. Um, there's a lot to discuss in this new year. I'm pumped and I'm excited to share what I know with you. Uh, what else do I want to let you know about? Uh, I'm six minutes in already. Oh, goodness. I just keep going and going and it just keeps coming. Uh, but another thing I want to just briefly touch on is the amount of stress that's going on in the world right now. And I do hope that you are all staying healthy and strong and safe. And I hope that your mental state is okay because I know there's been so many stressed out people and I've had a lot of stress with a sick kitty cat and things like that coming along. And one of my students the other day said when she was here painting that she actually sat here painting and did not think of COVID for an entire half an hour and she was shocked. So this is a whole point of learning to paint as well because it is a big stress relief and it does take you to that other place where all that stress does not exist in this realm and I try to keep it nice and calm and quiet in here. I like to play some good music and I encourage you to do that in your studio as well. Just go and take a break from the world for a while and take it easy and let the stress go. You learn to, you know, put yourself in that other place. You can't be bogged down by all that's happening in the world and what's going on around you. You have to just really be present with your canvas and your paints. And it is a good, good way to let off some of that stress. And it's a good way for you to train your mind to be in the moment. It's a good way to train your eyes to see what is actually in front of you rather than all that stuff that's going on in your head. You can't be focusing on things that are happening around you when you've got to just be at your easel and at your canvas and focusing on what colors to mix. This is a huge, huge thing for your mental health to be able to just see what is in front of you and see what you are working on and be in that place. And there's a whole lot of that self-help stuff going on, you know, with good reason and it's all very beneficial, but to actually pick up a paintbrush and paint will really do all of those things. And so I do encourage you to, for your health, your mental health, your physical health, the whole shebang can happen when you learn to paint. So, I just really want you all to be happy and healthy. And um, if there's anything I can do to help you in any way, please drop me a note, send me a comment. And if there's anything you want to know about in my 10 minute art tips, please put the questions in a comment and I will answer them next week. I have lots of information in my head and I am happy to share with you. So please do let me know what your what you need to know, what you want me to talk about. I'm here for you. I want to just quickly mention too that I will be doing my monthly art lecture at the end of January, uh, January 29th at 1 p.m. on Zoom. And I've put a link in the um, description here under this video. So if you would like to join us for that, please do so. I will be discussing and demonstrating uh, what am I doing? What am I talking about? I'm going to be demonstrating how to paint light and shadows, which I love painting shadows because they give you the most extraordinary shapes. 
So it is a lot of fun, uh, something I'm excited about. Uh, February art lecture will be on how to paint clouds and sky, sky and clouds, which is not my most favorite thing in the whole world. I'd much rather paint shadows and light, but uh, sky, clouds are kind of a bit important in a landscape painting. So it's something we all have to do and a uh, good thing to know. So I do hope you'll join me. Uh, in the meantime, come back next Monday for my next art tip and have a great week. Happy New Year. Stay safe, everyone. And drop me a note. Let me know what you want me to talk about. Okay. Have a good one. Bye for now.